hey guys I'm back with you again okay so guys let me tell you something all right you've been with me from the start you know and this is to do with my backyard garden all right so I do you you remember everything when all my plants they were just babies right guys I've been reaping from my garden and I decided I'm I will have to do a little vlog on this one you know presently I am reaping Kalalu and I am my onions are also ready and I'm going to show you something all right so I start cutting my callaloos my cabbage no I didn't plant no cabbage no my carrot they're coming up real nicely you know and everything else you know uh, is getting mature and stuff like that my sorrel in the back you know they're coming up real nicely too so because I'm cutting some callaloo right now guys I decided I'm gonna show you what I'm doing I got young okra on the tree you know my cane is coming up putting in joints and stuff like that so you know I'm just gonna give you a quick one right to let you see what is taking place here because I haven't given you any I haven't given you anything for the longest while from my backyard garden so peeps look okay see I just chop that off right so let me get to the color first people look in the lawn right here look at that guys that's color right and I'm reaping right now. See, see, guys, I'm reaping Kalalu, right? So, you know, I'm reaping Kalalu, guys. And yeah, see, I'm reaping from my garden. And these Kalalu, they are very powerful people. If you can look at them and see, you know. Um, I'm not gonna cut everything because, you know, every time I cut, I shear, right? So, and as I told you, my stuff, they're organic. You know, they are fully organic. So, if I don't reap them fast enough, the worms will reap them for me and I don't want to do that I don't want to allow that so I am reaping guys uh, I'm gonna leave back some but this yeah I'll just go through and just cut these out and Yes, guys, it's happening. So, I'm going to show you my nice little bundle of Kalalu people. And when I sweet Kalalu, like white flower dumpling, Kalalu people look at. Look at and at the same time I'm weeding out some bush and the old see that that's the old pak chai that I planted I reap off that already yes guys so see my young okra see that guys my okra soon can soon can get some okra and um, look at the peanut remember I told you I plant Jamaican peanuts see there people that's peanut and I have peanut over here same way and guys the better part of it I'm going to show you alright well see I cut enough color that I want I'm just gonna put them in one bundle and this is too much for me guys so you know I have friends that I'm going to share with you know look color guys look whole heap of Kalalu people see there the whole bunch of Kalalu right and see I'm gonna stop take them up yet so I just got home from work and I decided I'm going to first the worms see there guys Kalalu I have a whole bunch of Kalalu right there and you see look at this whole leaf that is eaten up by the worms right so 
that is to show you that my stuff is fully organic whole bunch of color guys look at that it's a whole heap of color with that i can't eat off all of that you know so i'm going to shear and over here guys see you remember my cane see start putting on a nice giants there we got some lovely giants coming up and you see bush take over the garden right here peeps and see i start weeding it out see it here so soon as i'm done with this now i'm going to put some water on it and people look at the sorrel jeez the sorrel them pretty them powerful people look at them all the way up there look at that guys and guys let me show you something that you might <laughs> you might be amazed about look at my pumpkin so my pumpkin right here but people for those who know the yam what them call look at that guys you all supposed to can tell me what type of yam this is right you see the purple vine down there look at it people i said three little yam head right here and see there one two and another little one over there three and they all grew up right and these i am going to nurture them people because it is something that i was grown up on yeah i grew up on it and i did love it man i like it people that is st vincent yam the same if the real jamaican talk st vincent yam which is the same thing as st vincent yam it's just our broken language we call it st vincent and guys that's not just the white st vincent yam or st vincent yam that's the purple one people that's a purple one the one they call dark night <laughs> So if you guys know what I'm talking about, for those who know what I'm talking about, you can just give me a thumbs up on it, right? And make you and give me some comments, right? But that's dark night. See my sorry them peeps? They're coming up real nice. Look. I wonder if you remember when they were just a little tat. Right? They are coming up. But the better joke of it now, guys, is what I'm going to show you right now. Because guess what I'm going to reap right now, people? I've already cut my color low right I have a bundle of color right there but I'm going to go I'm going to comb through the carrot right now people because there is something that I'm going to reap that you forget that I plant in here there's something that you forget that I plant in here and I'm going to reap some of it right now and you're going to amaze right and it's guys it's the first time I am planting this right and people watch what I'm going to do right now look I make a little opening right there and look guys watch you see this look people look ha <laughs> ha my onions guys <laughs> Guys, you remember my onions that I plant? You see? They bear. Right? And I'm going to dig some more. Look at this. See? It's almost bulging out of the ground, people. Look. My onions. And I'm using one finger to dig around it. Onions, guys. Look at that. My onions, they bear. The beer guys, onions, look at that. <laughs> Whoa! And I'm going to get a bunch of onions out of here because, see, look guys, big onions. Look at that. I'm reaping onions, guys. Alright, so I go right through here, I find a whole lot more. Right? See? Onions and all right i'm gonna stop right there now guys because uh, let me go right over here there's another one supposed to be right here i know i plant them in order so see onions guys all right i'm going to take one more from right in here because i know one more supposed to be right here because they're they were planted uniformed right see i just know where to find them i plant them like about 
a foot apart from each other, eight inches apart from each other. So I know exactly where to search for them. So those are the white onions, guys. And there's a lot more over there, right? I have to go through the carrot and find them. But if you remember when I told you that I planted white onions and red onions, all right? Don't know why they call it red onions, but it is purple in color for me. Oh, here's another one right here. I didn't dig this one. Look at this. <laughs> Look there, peeps. All right, so I'm going to search for some of the, the red onions now. I am going to search for some of the red onions now, people. I should have one right somewhere here. Here is one, guys. Red onions, right? So that is one right there I know where they are and I'm going to find them I know where they are people they were planted in all in uniformity see red onions I can actually shut my eyes and find them because see one more right here guys yeah. look at that peeps look all right so I'm going to reap the same amount of red onions as the same amount of white onions I reap so right now I got four five six seven eight and I already got three red onions right so I need five more all right so let me search they are here guys they're underneath the bush underneath the carrot bush so here they are guys that's four and I don't want to disturb the carrot because they just start bearing but I have to go through them even push my hand way up underneath there and feel because I know where I got them right I know where they are I know where they are one right there the other one should should be I'm feeling for them <laughs> anyway one is right here see yes guys that's five and they are all hidden inside here Got this guys six they're under here six uh, I'm still searching but they're right there all right I come over here take from this end One supposed to be somewhere right here but as I say I don't want to hurt the the carrots because they are swelling up now in the ground right but I already find two four six let me pull up see if I can pull up um, two more but I definitely have to go through the carrot One more here guys that's seven and let me just pull one from the end right here and that's eight so peeps look at that from my garden look at that guys red onions white onions and right around here a whole big bunch of callaloo right okay guys so I'm sweating yeah and they said by the sweat of your bro you shall what eat bread yeah so I'm sweating now I was sweat I was sweating when I was planting it yes and I'm sweating now reaping it but guys there's a lot more onions out there there's a whole lot more in there and I'm going to take my time because I don't want to disturb the carrot too much you know 
so I'm gonna take my little time and go through it find them and take them out so probably on the next time around when I'm come when I'm back in the garden you know reaping the rest of onions I will do another little vlog on it but for now guys that's what is going on here in my backyard and to top it off let me show you what I'm doing here again this place the pavers that I have here which I call patio was right down there see it all covered with dirt peeps see it when the rain fall that they, that is what they call the patio right so when the rain fall the whole area here is flooded with water all across here is flooded with water so what I'm doing right now I am doing the pavers at like about four inches higher where I can walk out on it and if water is in the grass you know it's not flooding over on the patio and that's not just all guys see I'm building my pergola right I'm building my pergola over it and I'm doing this all by myself you know yeah these are the jobs that I do this is my trade yes guys so it's not done yet but just giving a little taste of what I'm doing in my backyard yeah so they see the thing is that the house it don't have a cover that you can when the rain fall you can't even walk out and walk or somewhere off out here without getting wet so I'm building this I can't attach it to the house but I'm gonna make it and put a gutter between it and the house so that that gutter go and catch the water so I can walk out from the house and come out underneath it without getting wet you know I have to make it off the house if I connect it to the house then it's gonna create more square footage of the house and that is gonna send my taxes up everything is gonna go mess I'm going to get messed up, you know, so I'm going to bother with that, you know. Everything will go bad. So, see it here? In my backyard, guys. So, that's what's taking place in my backyard. Alright? So, catch you on the next one. It's your guy, George, again. You know, with a short one. Just sharing what is going on in my backyard. Yes. So, catch you on the next one, guys. So, I'm going to say again, like, share, subscribe please like share and most of all subscribe people all right thank you all for those who have subscri subscribed thank you right for those who like so for those who even watch my video and don't subscribe i still thank you all all right so people i'm out all right yeah catch up i'm tired i'm gonna sweat up and everything like that so i'm gonna know take care of my color low i'm gonna wash off them color low, cut them up I'm going to wash off my onion them and definitely I'm going to use some of those onions in the kalalu, right? You see how it, everything does come together people? And guess what? I like kalalu and white flour dumpling. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I guess I'm going to like the kalalu again people. White rice. Junior, lifestyle of fishing, I know you don't like the rice but boy, I know you are going to eat it. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, me like me, me colour with my white flour dumpling and I like it with white rice. Yeah? So I don't know which one of them I'm going to match it up with later on people, but when me do that, you're going to see it, alright? I'm going to share that with you. The cook up part, but not right now. Coming from work tired and it getting late. So I grab some food. Go catch a bath right now. Grab some food and relax. Yeah? Catch your people. I'm out. <laughs>